Hey guys, I'm Tuan and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to bring you a quick video on what I believe to be one of the most overlooked guns in Battlefield, and that is the Lewis gun. I think it's extremely overlooked because you unlock it at rank 0 so you can purchase it right away, but it's usually just used as a stepping stone up to the bar. So I recently decided to revisit this gun when I was making my support guide, and I was pleasantly surprised with how I played with it. But before we look at how it plays in Battlefield, let's get a look at the real life gun. So the real steel Lewis gun was first invented in 1911 by US Army Colonel Isaac Newton Lewis. Now you may find it interesting that it was invented by an American, but it was actually adopted by the British military. It wasn't adopted by the US military at first because of political differences between the inventor and the leader of the ordnance department. Colonel Lewis created a factory in Belgium to produce these guns, but had to move to England in 1914 when the threat of German invasion came. The gun saw use in many branches of multiple nations militaries, specifically the Canadians, British, and the US. There were different variants that fired the .303 British round or the .30-06 Springfield round. The Lewis gun could fire 500 to 600 rounds a minute and had an effective range of 880 yards and a maximum range of 3,500 yards. Now, when I think of World War I, one of the first things I think of is the Lewis gun because of its very distinct design. The gun has a disc magazine on top that can hold either 47 or 97 rounds, and it's got the water-cooled barrel up front. Because the pan magazines could hold so much ammo, either 47 or 97 rounds, the Lewis guns were extremely popular on aircraft and on Navy ships. While it was used on aircraft, it could also be an extremely effective anti-aircraft gun from the ground, because at the time planes were relatively fragile so bullets could rip through an enemy aircraft. So firing this gun from the ground at 600 rounds a minute could absolutely devastate enemy aircraft. So now that you've got some information on the iconic real steel Lewis gun, I think it's time to look at how this gun plays in Battlefield. So as I had mentioned earlier, I used this gun very early on in Battlefield when I first started playing support because it was virtually the only gun that was available. And then once I got guns like the bar, I totally stopped using this gun. And I only revisited it just recently because I started making more support videos. And so now that I've come back to this gun, I feel that I really underestimated its power back when I used it. There are a couple reasons that I say this. The first of which is that this gun has a huge ammo capacity compared to the other guns. Most guns in the support class have a magazine size of 20 to 30 rounds, but this gun's base form comes in at almost 50 rounds, which is a huge increase. Not to mention that the suppressor variant gets you up to 97 rounds, so you virtually never have to reload. These large ammo capacities allow you to take on multiple enemies, especially if you manage to flank and come from the side or come from behind them. Another thing that I really enjoyed about the Lewis gun when I went back to visit it was its rate of fire. Now, in the game, it only has a rate of fire of 480 rounds, which is actually lower than the actual real steel variant, but I think there actually is an upside to this slower rate of fire. While the Lewis gun isn't tremendous in close quarters, at longer ranges, the slower rate of fire means you can do some burst fire and take enemies down quickly. However, that does remind me of one of the biggest drawbacks of this gun, which is on extended periods of fire, the accuracy gets absolutely terrible. So what I would recommend doing is, if you don't have a bipod equipped on the gun, is taking burst fire of 4-5 to five shots, cooling off for maybe a second, and then going right back into it. You should find this will suit you pretty well because it only takes a few shots to kill someone, so if you don't get someone in the 5 right off the bat, which most of the time you can, um, it won't be long until you can put the next volley of shots on target. In Battlefield, there are several variants of the Lewis gun, and I think it's important to choose the right one for you. I personally like the optical variant the most because it gives you increased accuracy with the optical sight on the end and the vertical foregrip. However, there's also a suppressive variant which has the 97 round magazine and a telescopic sight. The reason I don't use this is because I find the telescopic sight is a little awkward on this gun. There's also the low weight variant which I don't really use that much because I feel that it's got the worst accuracy of the three variants. So overall, I think the Lewis gun is a pretty good gun, which is probably why Battlefield gives it to you so early on. However, I think it's because of this that people often overlook this gun because they're caught up in trying to get the higher rank support guns. So now that I've had a lot of time to play with the higher rank support guns, I can say that the Lewis gun can really compete with them. And also it's important to note that it's really fun to play with a gun that seems to be like the classic machine gun of World War I. So that's what I've got for you guys today on the Lewis gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Make sure to take a look at my channel. I got a lot of good videos posted right now. I had the series that I did on the Battlefield classes doing guides on each individual class. If you look in the support class guide, you can see that I have some pretty good clips of the Lewis gun. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out. 
and also don't forget to look at the other class guides. So with all that said, I'm Tuan, thanks for watching my video, and enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Got two. 